If you're using Zoom, you may have wanted to play back some video that you've got on your computer. And you may have discovered that when people are watching it, your attendees or panelists, it doesn't play back very smoothly, it's very jerky. But there's a way that you can fix that. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can do that. It's really simple, it doesn't matter whether you've got a Mac or a PC. What I've got to do first is share the screen. So I've already got the video I want to play back open. I'm using QuickTime Player for it, but it could be something else. So I need to go down to here where it's got share screen. And it's right here, I've got lots of things open, but let's just click on this QuickTime Player here. What you need to do is make sure that down at the bottom, it's got optimized screen share for video clip ticked, which has also got share computer sound also came up there. So I may not want to do that because I'm going to talk over the video if I don't want that sound to play back. Let's play the sound back on it and optimize the screen share for the video clip. Let's click on share. Here's the video. Now, what makes it play back even better is if you make it full screen. So let's just do that. On the Mac, I'm just gonna click here, but on Windows, you would hit your maximize button. And then when I play it, it's gonna play back nice and smooth. So here's a wildlife clip. Well, everything in our garden is wildlife. It's on a long lens, so it's a little bit unsteady, but the point is, is that that would be smooth and not jerky when it is played back. So that's how you can make your video playback that much better. So let's just stop that share there. So what you've got to do, let me just go back to the share screen here, is make sure this optimized screen share for video clip is ticked, and then you can decide whether or not you want the sound on there as well. You may just need to check this every time because there are times I've come back into Zoom and that's been unticked. So if you've closed down Zoom, next time you want to share the screen and it's a video clip, just make sure that that is ticked. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more tricks for Zoom, click on the link below, click on subscribe. I've got lots of tips like filming because many of us are filming from home and working from home. So I've got lots of things on filming, photography, and also on Microsoft Office as well. So don't forget, do subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Do come back and stay safe and see you soon.